imagine coming up here as a young core scholar, we were called academical clerks, I think it was more of the clerk and less, less of the academical about it, but, uh, but just coming up here, cloisters here, and this wonderful modern tower there. So this was the small school with its, uh, well, it still is the small school, with its modern coat of arms above it. But here, if you're going on over here, this is um, so beautiful. The, um, in the spring, the wisteria is all flowering there. And I used to have my rooms in my second year, right at the end, just up there. Just imagine that. It was just great looking out of these ridiculously gross, in some cases, gargoyles uh, that are there. It's just the most idyllic um, place. There's nothing better. But Morden's full of um, <clears throat> wonderful bits like this, the cloister, this expanse of, of uh, grass in the middle, and all this wonderful stonework. But if we come through here, this is the bit I love. You walk out of cloisters to a little archway, and we're into this fabulous bit. And this is called New Buildings. Hardly new, it was just new when it was built. Um, absolutely beautiful. But this lovely arch here by Addison's Walk, um, that is great. But that used to be closed, I think, in, in, our, in my day. It was sort of closed about 10 o'clock in the evening. So if you'd, um, in the summer, if you'd gone hunting up there to the, local, to the pub at the end of the river up there, and you got back after 10 o'clock, you'd have to climb over. It's, it's quite precarious. No injuries, though. This was uh, Bernard Rose's rooms. Uh, Bernard Rose. Bernard was the um, informatic chorister in my day, famous composer. People love his rose responses, they adore them. But this is Addison's work, and it is absolutely glorious. And you can see the deer, some of the deer in the deer park over there. And the river goes all the way around the college meadow. And in the spring, those beautiful flowers uh, called uh, the fritillaries, and they're absolutely unique. At the end of this, end of Addison's Walk, was uh, the house that C.S. Lewis used to live in, and there's a beautiful um, plaque at the end of the Deer Park here of, of a poem that um, uh, C.S. Lewis wrote about Addison's Walk. And it's really lovely. You can look back onto the tower. I mean, you could never ever get bored with this college. It is so so beautiful, and I just love coming back.